In relation to this campaign analysis, Tropical North Queensland falls under the product category of domestic tourism destinations. Tourism contributed over $73.3 billion to the Australian economy in 2011, yet domestic tourism only accounted for $25 billion, a figure that has been decreasing continuously over the last decade. Several factors have contributed to this decline, but the global financial crisis and the enduring strength of the Australian dollar have been the most influential in recent times. Research conducted by Gray and Sweeney Research has revealed that Australian consumers, with the exception of Generation Y, have become increasingly cautious and conservative due to uncertainty with the economy over the last three years. The majority of consumers have become more concerned with saving and debt reduction and less inclined towards holidays. For those seeking holidays with a higher disposable income, strength of currency has increased the appeal of overseas travel significantly. With this in mind, the need for domestic tourism destinations to build awareness and differentiate themselves from the competition is essential. In 2010, the TNQ was positioned quite competitively behind the Sunshine Coast, Gold Coast and market leader Brisbane. Yet dropping a disappointing 16% in the annual rate of visitors, the Adventurous by Nature campaign was created as a means of reinventing the TNQ as a holiday destination and differentiating itself from its competitors. In developing this campaign, advertisers were influenced by two important aspects. One, it is a high involvement product and two, it can be categorised as a social need. The influence these factors have had on the advertising campaign will be discussed later under the advertising strategy. Seeking a greater understanding of key consumer insights in relation to tropical holidaying, Tourism Queensland surveyed over 6,000 Australians. The key insight they gained from these personal interviews was that consumers were more concerned with experience than they were with destination. This key insight became more specific after target audiences were identified through market segmentation. Segmentation is the most effective approach in matching the needs and wants of consumers to generate sales and increase product awareness. Through segmentation and targeting, marketers identified two target audiences who were most likely to be responsive to advertising messages relating to the campaign. These two groups were determined by their social, behavioural, psychological and cultural characteristics. The results identified two target audiences with contrasting insights relating to what they seek in holiday experiences. Observing these insights helps marketers interpret what motivates both groups' purchase decisions. By applying Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it is revealed that both groups are motivated by social needs, that is, sharing these experiences with friends and family. Identifying these social needs has allowed marketers to tailor the Adventurous by Nature campaign to show how tropical North Queensland can satisfy these needs. With the goal of increasing annual visitor rates in tropical North Queensland, the marketing approach shifted away from promoting the destination's attributes and focused instead on the tourism experience and the consumer's emotional response. With a focus on emotional motives, a new advertising planning strategy was needed. An effective strategy was used for the campaign as it is an appropriate communication strategy for high involvement products where purchase decisions are driven by emotional motives. Tapping into consumer insights, the focus of the advertising strategy was to communicate to audiences that the TNQ could satisfy their social needs of sharing experiences with friends and family. Modelled on the feel, learn, do approach, a 60 second ad was created which used emotional appeals to communicate the message. The ad, which was the primary media channel for the campaign, was broadcasted throughout late 2010 and 2011, identifying South East Queensland, Sydney and Melbourne as key source markets for the campaign's target audiences. These locations were the focus of media exposure. While the campaign was considered successful in building awareness and favourable attitudes towards the product, its immediate effect on sales is hard to measure due to the carryover effect. Yet by observing the annual visitor rate before and after the campaign aired, the results become more measurable. By the end of 2011, the year through which the campaign ran, TNQ saw a tremendous increase in holiday visitors with over 798,000 visitors, up 13% from the previous year's disappointing figure. In order to evaluate the success of the campaign, it is vital that clearer objectives are first established so that the campaign's success is more measurable. A popular approach to measuring the effectiveness of such campaigns is the DAGMA model. The model focuses on evaluating awareness, comprehension, conviction and action. And although not universally accepted, the DAGMA model is a useful evaluation method for setting objectives and assessing the results of an ad campaign. In creating the ad, advertisers used an emotional appeal to deliver the message strategy and appeal to their target audience's social and psychological needs. The message can be summarised as, TNQ is Australia's greatest and most versatile destination for holiday makers looking to share experiences with friends and loved ones through a variety of nature-based activities and adventures. With a focus on the key consumer insight of experience over destination, this message was creatively conveyed not through words, but through light, energetic music and a series of images showing friends and families enjoying a variety of activities together throughout the region's many beautiful locations. Images of snorkeling, underwater reef walks, sailing, bushwalks and many more appeal to the target audience's social needs and is clearly an effective strategy as these appeals are purely based on an emotional level. As the ad relies on visual elements rather than information, the executional technique can be identified as imagery. 
Characteristic of this technique, the focus is on showing the type of person the product is aimed at, in this case, young families and young adults sharing the many experiences with their friends and loved ones. The tone of the campaign very effectively embodies the brand personality that Tourism Queensland described as colourful, energetic, friendly and positive. As consumers may find it difficult to differentiate the tropical north from similar tropical destinations around Australia, using an emotional appeal works in the campaign's favour, as differentiating a brand from similar competitors through rational appeals is far more difficult. Another strength of the campaign's creative approach is that emotional advertising is better remembered than non-emotional messages. The creative approach, while strong, may have been further improved by combining the effective strategy with a unique selling proposition. The Great Barrier Reef is a unique attribute to the tropical north, yet this information is not conveyed through the message. By combining the emotional appeal with a rational appeal and utilising a unique selling proposition, the campaign may have more effectively differentiated itself from its competitors. In addition to television advertising, the campaign utilised internet and print media with ads in a range of magazines and newspapers to further deliver the communication message. Broadcast media was the most dominant medium targeted in the campaign with the obvious advantages of having mass coverage and being high reach and attention grabbing. As television advertising is more effective than any other media for developing emotional appeals, it was essential to the media strategy. While it is difficult to deliver the message to specific market segments with this medium, the campaign focuses geographic coverage on Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne, which are highly populated by both target audiences. While television provides mass coverage, the ability to target specific markets can be quite limiting. However, as the campaign's target audiences are quite large, the commercial's ability to reach a large percentage of this group is still high. To evaluate the ad's effectiveness, many copy testing companies offer a range of post-tests for broadcast and digital commercials that measure ad effectiveness, including day-after-recall tests, diagnostics and test marketing, among others. For audience monitoring, such companies as Arbitron, Radar and AC Nielsen can be consulted. Finally, to increase the chances of brand recall, research has shown that ad placement is strongly related to memory. If the ad is positioned first or last during a commercial break, it is far more likely to be remembered by the consumer.